Hey, how's it going guys? Barth Vader Halloween here. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Black Jumping Spider. This is Spirit Halloween's uh, longest selling prop. Um, it's been sold ever since 2011. It was originally produced by a company called Techie Toys, or Techie Design rather. I keep calling it Techie Toys. Um, just kind of for nostalgia, I guess. But, uh, yeah, this is him. He makes, he makes uh, decently fast lunging motion forward. Uh, to get some scares out of people, and I gotta say, it, it does it does get the job done sometimes. It does get the job done. I've been wanting one of these for quite a while now, and I'm really happy to finally have them in my, in my collection. I got it as a birthday gift. Um, but yeah, um, he originally retailed for $69.99, I believe, and um, currently he's sold for $59.99, so just 60 bucks. I gotta say that's a really good price, and it's it's not it's really not that bad. Um, in terms of quality, I think the quality is pretty good on this. It's pretty durable, and um, although I will say that in back back in 2011 when this when the jumping spiders were first being produced, the springs were much stronger. Um, I don't know why they've gotten weaker over time. I mean, my jumping spider, it's it's not as slow as people would, it's not, it's not as slow as they would usually, as modern jumping spiders would usually be, um, but it is still not as fast as what they used to be in the good old days, uh, as I would call them. Um, I, although I will say that I'm still a pretty big fan of this prop, I like the jumping spider, I really do. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and demo him for you guys so you can see what he does, and, um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. One thing that I would like to recommend is um, putting a weight uh, at the back of it. I actually do have a, if you're wondering what that object back there is, that is a brick. I put a brick under, I put a brick on top of the um, back, uh, on top of the back foot of the base just to give it some, some support so that it doesn't move forward every time it um, jumps. But yeah. Okay, I have him turned off. Actually, um, if you're wondering why I have him turned off in the up position, it's because if you have him, uh, if you if you store him in the up position, or if you just simply disconnect the springs, um, that'll actually make the springs last longer. Uh, if you have it in the down position, like with pretty much every jumping prop there is by Techie Toys, that'll kind of wear the springs out over time. It'll actually stretch them out. So, um, which will make the jumping motion slower over time. So I just have him in the up position right now. Um, if you want to really like store him in his box for prolonged periods of time, uh, you don't uh, just disconnect the springs and then you can actually fully disassemble him and and put him in the down position so that he's easier to put in the box. Um, but yeah, that that is him. In terms of detail, there's not really much I can say about the detail. Um, uh, it's got the white tufts of hair, or fur, I should say, um, at, uh, by the joints of the legs there. Um, in 2020, they actually made a black and red variant of this spider where the white tufts of hair were actually red. Um, that's kind of the only difference they made to it. Um, he does have two red LED eyes in the front over there, along with a motion sensor, which is also in the front, hidden there. It's also, I think, I think that's also the sound sensor too. I think the sound sensor could also be in the base, but anyways, yeah, that's basically what is that. That's basically what he is. Uh, the the cobweb cloth underneath him. Over time, the cobwebbing will probably fall off, but you can just get some new cobwebbing and hot glue that on there. But yeah, that's the, that's the black jumping spider. I really do like this one. I hope to pick up a couple of other ones in the future. 
And by that, I don't mean other black jumping spiders, I mean other variants. Um, um, I don't usually, I review the box in my, I, I know usually in my reviews, I also review the box, which I guess we can go ahead and take a, a quick look at it. There's nothing really much, there's nothing really all that special to the box. Um, I know this is a new, this is a new box design for 2021. I like, I do, I, I like the old box designs better, but this one is all right too. I know the font size is pretty small on this one. Uh, so, yeah. One thing that I do like about this, hang on, if I, uh, let me go ahead and show you. Open up this, open up, uh, if I could speak English right now. Is this, please tell me this is in frame, okay, good. Uh, so, one of the flaps over here, it has Dr. Zombie's contact information, so I think that's a pretty cool little feature in there. I know that's been on the Spirit Halloween boxes for some years now, but I just thought I would point that out. But yeah, that kind of concludes my Jumping Spider review. Uh, I guess, uh, l let me know what you guys think of this animatronic. I know it's definitely a classic. I would really recommend uh, anyone who doesn't have a Jumping Spider to go get one now. Like, immediately, right now. Stop watching this video, go on Spirit Halloween's website, and, and, buy, and buy one now. But, yeah, I, I do highly recommend this prop. He'll make a great addition to a display. I know I have a pretty good idea of where I want to put him. There are two bushes at my entrance that I'm going to put him in between, and he'll get a pretty good scare out of some people. But, yeah, that's that concludes my review for today. Let me know what you guys think of it. And, um, go ahead and subscribe if you like my content. Uh, I know... It's a little annoying for people to plug their channel in their videos, but, you know, I just gotta say it. If you like my channel, you can uh, go ahead and subscribe if you want to, um, and leave a like on the video if you like it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later, guys.